Hey guys, it's Stephen here, back with a wonderful new video for you guys. Did you digest and enjoy some transfer rumours? Yay, transfer rumours forever for summer and all that kind of stuff. And don't forget, if you like more transfer rumours, <laughs> I've transformed transfer rumours. Head over to One Football. This uh, app is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I wouldn't be sponsored by it for so long if it wasn't brilliant. It is a brilliant app. It's great. It gives you all your football news. So go download it now in the link in the description below. It's really, really good. I promise you, it helps keep this channel going. It's fantastic. You get a daily updates. There's loads of good stuff during the season uh, and it's brilliant so go download it what are you waiting for download it now and also go check out my facebook page facebook.com forward slash esteemed company in the link in the description it's down there as well go like and download all those things but today if there isn't loads going on i'm gonna be honest but some potentially very very good news you know that favorite winger of yours the really skillful one the really cool one the awesome one of all the goals and all that kind of stuff and um, the Sane. yep it looks like he could be staying at manchester city after all now who's surprised by that Personally, I am not in the slightest. I've been calling this throughout the summer that he'd end up staying at Manchester City. Now, it's obviously not concerned, it's not confirmed yet and all that kind of stuff. And there's always the rumour that it could come in. Um, but there's loads of rumours going around. It's getting noisier and noisier in the German press that he might not be going at all. Despite uh, Hunes coming out and saying, Uli Hunes, uh, the Bayern president, saying if he wants to come, it can be done when he was asked if it's a money issue. Now, according to certain reports over in Germany, Leroy Sane um, is a bit upset because uh, in 2016, they snubbed him for like like uh, Robin and Ribery, and he thought he could have gone then, but he didn't. And now, as a result, he prefers to stay in the Premier League, and he's hoping that Guardiola will start to trust him again and get loads of game time, because he wants to... Uh, he likes it over here, because he's not in the public focus that he'd get into Germany, and he can go under the radar, improve himself, and practice his lifestyle without the critics. That's what Bold uh, are reporting. And also that, apparently, he's told his friend circle, his inner friend circle, that he's going to stay Manchester City and not go to Bayern. I mean, this was always going to happen, if we're being totally honest. Um, uh, I just didn't see it happen. I think City never have any intention of selling him. And the fee that we probably want around like 120 million or whatever, at very, very least, I don't think Bayern are willing to spend that at Manchester City. Uh, on Man for, uh, I don't think Bayern are willing to spend that on one player. Manchester City will hold out and we will dig our heels in. He's absolutely essential uh, to this squad and what he can do. And his profile is rising all the time over here in the Premier League. Leroy Sane, despite um, knowing that he's got loads of options, I think in general he knows it is a very very good place. There was also rumours going around that he's seek David Beckham's agents and advisors and all that kind of stuff and what to do. And they allegedly told him to stay at Manchester City, which is a turn up for the books entirely. But he is uh, playing under the best coach in world football at the moment. And I think he knows that. Now, obviously, the uh, the kind of perception of Leroy Sane is someone who doesn't quite always see to eye with Guardiola. He can be a little bit blase and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think that's probably true to a slight extent. But I think deep down, he knows he's been trained and coached by one of the best coaches in world football, if not the best coach in world football. And he's improved he's a fantastic player and he has to get his head down and improve once again and he's, he's got no rush nowhere else to be anywhere at the moment his life's very good for him he's winning loads of trophies and he could go to Bayern life would be a little bit easier he'd win the Bundesliga every season um but, you know, I think he likes it over here. I think he likes the challenge, really. And I think he's just playing his cards close to his chest because he knows that um, if he doesn't rush things, he doesn't chase things, um, he could uh, maybe get a little bit more money out of this. And I think in general, he's aware that his contract's got two years left and City might give him a little bit of deal. And I think he's just kind of playing gamesmanship. I think if push came to shove and he had to go back to Germany, he wouldn't be disappointed because it's Bayern Munich, you know. Any young German lad uh, would be happy to play for Bayern Munich. But at the same time, I think he is genuinely happy over here because life is just excellent for him. He's got a English girlfriend, I think, as well. I think that's right. Someone might correct me, but I know she's got an English sounding name at the very least. And she's happy to stay over here. And I think it's his parents that are pushing him to go back to Germany, which usually, if experience a young bloke has been told what to do by parents, they to go by, he wants to do the opposite. So fingers crossed that will actually turn out to be the situation. I think Leroy Sane will be here at the start of the season. I think City won't sell him because he's too good and I think he will sign a contract at some point during the uh, the early months of the season. I think he's going nowhere. He's too good and I think he kind of, he's just, you know, He's just seeing how it goes down. I think, though, in general, Bayern, they're paying the arse in this transfer market, constantly shouting him out, constantly trying to unsettle him. How many players have they had now? How many players, people in the media coming out and saying and talking about Sane? It's all they do is talk and unsettle players. It's ridiculous. At least at my club, at least I know the fact that they do it all respectfully. Bayern, arrogant little bastards, genuinely, just unsettling players publicly, constantly. Where is the respect for the club? I hope we don't even sell them our rash, honestly. Uh, Bayern, <laughs> this is a stingy, horrible little club there. Sod Bayern Munich to uh, a great degree, as far as I can say. And after that, we're also after Christina Aguilera. No, sorry, that's such a Yadar joke. Yadar joke. Yadar joke. Um, Cliver Aguilera. 
Uh, nope, I've never heard of him. You've never heard of him. If you have heard of him, you're a dirty, stinking liar. So why are you pretending? He's a 16-year-old right back, uh, Alianza Lima, a Peruvian club. Um, and apparently we're, we're close to a two million deal to sign him. Um, I'm getting some kind of mixed messages there in terms of, has he got a passport or something like that? Well, the window's open. If you can hear the train, Olivia train station. Might stop by now. Um... But apparently, uh, we're going to sign him, which I'm confused. He took this little, he just can't get um, a work permit. How could this young lad get a work permit? Having said that, uh, all the stories came about initially because um, I think Ben Vika's B team coach uh, said what the scouting has told me is that Cliver Aguilera. Aguilera <laughs> is already signed at Manchester City. I don't know the link there or the connection, but there were there was some quotes from the young Cliver himself saying, I'd like to go to Manchester City. I'd be proud to go there because you represent the whole country. I'm sure they followed me in the South America in the 17s where I could show more. Maybe they like my way of playing. It'd be a total change for both my family and me. I train and play in every moment in order to improve as a footballer. I'm calm and the subject is has been seen by my father and my representative. For the moment, I'm fine and I take it easy. I've only heard the news two years ago and I still have nothing confirmed. He sounds like he wants to go see. Whether that's just him getting excited by the press and all that kind of stuff, or whether it's agents getting carried away, whether it's a Manchester City agent got in touch just for a chat or something, and then he's presumed he's going to move to Manchester City. I don't really know there. Uh, but Ben Fika allegedly then denied that story about the B team coach saying that, and uh, who knows? Uh, either way, don't expect him to ever play for Manchester City Football Club. I think he's one of those signings, if it does happen, that's very much a City Football Group kind of signing. We'll get him off, we'll loan him somewhere, and he'll probably go to a team where work permits are a little bit easier to get. You know, maybe he'll go to Portugal or something like that. Maybe he'll go to Benfica on loan. Maybe we'll, we'll buy him and sell him to Benfica. Who knows? Either way, I can't imagine he's going to trouble the first team anytime soon. Great name, though. Uh, and I don't know anything about him, but, you know, he's a cool name. I'm sure he's a very good footballer. Good luck to the young lad. One young lad, though, who couldn't be, who might not be here next season, um, is our Rome Morich. According to reports from the Sun, I think he might come from um, one reliable uh, journalist from the Sun. Uh, what's he called? I've forgotten his now name. Uh, is it Nixon? Something like that. It's a guy on Twitter. He's always good with academy players anyway. He said that Norwich, Nottingham Forest, are keen to sign a city goalkeeper on loan, but face competition from Preston. Uh, Preston obviously last season had Namatia and Brandon Barker on loan and I think the City kind of relatively trust him even if he didn't work for Barker Namatia got plenty of game time Aaron Morich is definitely ready for some first team football somewhere I don't want to see him here next season second choice keeper I don't want to see him as third choice keeper I think he needs to go and play some football because he's too good to be sat doing absolutely nothing uh, I think it also links in what we kind of know about um, Zach Steffen apparently he's going to Dusseldorf on loan so he won't be coming to Manchester City's first team because he needs some game times and it also kind of it kind of starts to put some pieces together about our goalkeeping situation now we know Everton is number one of course Claudio Bravo's getting fit, so I suspect he's going to be number two again. There have been no rumours whatsoever about him going anywhere. Um, and this, this as he, this, I've already, already forgot his name, this this third choice keeper for my bar, the 36-year-old, the Spanish Richard Wright, he's coming in allegedly as a backup. So I think those three are going to be our goalkeepers for next season. Uh, Aaron Morris will go out on loan, rightfully so. I don't know what Danny Grimshaw's going to do, but, you know, I hope he's near the first team anyway in general. Uh, and Zach Steffen will go out on loan. I hope Morris does go on loan to the championship. It'd be a massive step for him. I really like Aaron Morris. I think he's a fantastic young goalkeeper. He generally has a bit of everything to his game. It's just for him. We've got this brilliant young goalkeeper in Edison who could be around for another 10 years. So how do you how do you deal with that if you're Aaron Morwich? Uh, the answer is you can't deal with it very well, but fingers crossed you can hope for it. Other than that, though, in terms of news, um, there's some more Cancelo stuck on about how it's really close, which is just what we're hearing all the time at the moment. Uh, there's more stuff about uh, Rodri as well, that he might be after the first and all this kind of stuff. Um, and I think we're generally just kind of in the end game for a few transfers now. We've got to wait to see what happens. Like with Angelino, the rumours about the uh, first, of July, first of July onwards things getting very interesting as well because you know it links with Puma and that kind of stuff. I can't, I can't imagine genuinely that we'd wait to announce something like that because it just doesn't seem right to me. But you never know. Strange things have happened. And if these players all sign on the 1st of January, I'd be very happy. It's gone quiet in the Harry Maguire fund as well for the past couple of days. But I'm sure we'll sign someone very, very soon. Guys, let me know what you think of all those rumours uh, in the comments below. Do you want to sign Christina Aguilera? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting old. I'm 33. I make shit jokes now. Uh, will Leroy Sane stay at Manchester City Football Club? I think you will, genuinely. And who do you want to see come in in the summer and all that kind of stuff? And what should be going on with our goalkeeping uh, situation this season? Well, this coming season, at very least. Thank you, as ever, to all these people here. These are my patrons who keep this channel going. Absolute heroes. Go check out the patron Q&A and Lee Russell's $40 tier patron question from the weekend um subscribe if you're new give this video a like and i'll see you tomorrow for hopefully something much more interesting go and download more football too and like the facebook page